Every time you see a pulley, just when you see a pulley with a rope, uh, doesn't matter how the how many pulley you have, how many object you have. First, look for how many rope. Huh? Some question have one rope, some question have two rope, some question have three rope. So look for how many ropes you have. Then write LT equal to L1 plus L2 plus L3 and so on. Okay. Then number two, after you do, you DT the whole thing. Okay. You DT the whole thing. D LT over DT. Okay. Here you arrive, number three, uh, you arrive at velocity of A equal to what velocity of B? Can be positive, can be negative. Okay, so from here, you dt again, you will get acceleration A equal positive or negative B. Okay, these are the steps, uh, generally, yeah, steps. And here, Important is the datum. Look for the dot and arrow. Huh? Where is a positive value? Uh, meaning, if you count this one, if it go down, then you get negative, and so on. Huh? Okay, so just a recap for this question number fifteen. First, you calculate the total distance. Here, you have two bodies, all right? So before you solve the question, you try to think uh, the logic way of moving. If you pull A, you pull down, move, B will move up. If you pull B, A will move up. So actually, it's a different motion. However, you look at the datum. Datum for A, go down positive, go B positive. So if you pull one side, either A or B, you will get negative, right? VA equal to negative B with a constant, okay? So that is the idea. So just careful on the datum. So you see the steps is quite easy. First, you write the total length, you calculate SA plus SB, SB plus SB. Ignore the red color because red color, you can calculate also, but when you reach second steps, this doesn't change with time, so you still become zero. Okay, so it's better you remove this before the the question. And I want to highlight this section. Normally, your your careless mistake will be here, right? It will give you datum to where. So be careful to look for the limit of the the rope. Some of you you, you might confuse with this length. Okay, because this length also didn't change change okay once you find the lt you time differentiate this one zero total length doesn't change as a become velocity as b become velocity then you rearrange either you depends on what you want to find um, normally we'll put va at the left hand side uh, vb at the right hand side So example 16, um, let's try to solve example 16. Last time we stopped at 15, right? Uh, so 16, we try to look at 16 and try to think, uh, try to solve this one by using the standard operating procedure here. So determine the speed of A if B have upward speed of six meter per second. So at the moment, just ignore the numbers, the value. Try to develop the equation first. Uh, try to arrive at v equal v a equal to what v b. Uh, so before you solve, you try to pull one of the bodies. Let's say you pull a. You pull a b will move up logically. So s a positive go down, s b positive go down. So at the end, the answer either velocity or acceleration they will be negative. Means they will opposite the direction between a and b. So if later you, you do calculation, at the end you get positive. Something wrong with your steps already. Uh, this is how you check. Huh? 
Okay, so look at the datum. S A go down, S C go down, S B go down. Okay. So first calculate the total length. So here you only have one. Uh, you have two rope. You have two rope. Uh. One is this rope. One is second rope. Here. Yeah. So don't confuse. Uh, uh, your you have two LT. LT one, LT two. So you try to develop lah. So first one LA equal to L, uh, LA, uh, LT equal, LT1 equal to SA plus this length, this length. So you have SA plus 2 SC, the first LT equation. Second equation, you look at the second row, will be uh, SB, this, this length, plus this short length, where you need to take SB minus SC. Okay. Because you, you are calculating the length of here. So meaning you uh, you need to find the differences of here, here and total length here. Okay, you arrived two equation. Okay, the rest you read, huh? the rest you read. So you have L1, L2, L1, you have for L1, S1 plus 2, SC. L2, you have SB plus SC, SC equal to SB minus uh, SB minus SC. Okay. So you can link these two. Huh? These two, how you link with C. These are common things. But anyway, you do it slowly. Huh? You do it slowly. So you time differentiate. First one. You time differentiate dl, dt, the whole thing. I mean the whole equation. You write equation one. Time differentiate first one. Dl, l1 doesn't change. So zero. Sa become velocity. Sc become velocity. So what does it mean? If you move a to the left hand side, you'll get minus vc. Meaning you pull, you pull a, vc will move double speed of a. Okay, you pull A, C will move double speed up. Uh, let's say this one move in one meter per second. This one will move two meter per second up. Uh, okay, second equation from here. Okay, second equation from here. So here, if you bracket, then SB plus SB, you have two SB mathematic mathematically. So we have two SB minus SC. So you time differentiate second one, you get zero because total length number two also doesn't change over time. So that two VB minus VC. We have two more new equations. So equation one, equation one, equation two, equation three, equation four. Okay, then from here, you want to eliminate the here, you can do uh, substitution, right? Can do substitution if you want. So I just substitute, I move VC to the left, I get VC equal to 2VB. So substitute this one over here, I get A and B uh, relative velocity. Okay, so here you move to the left, you get VC equal to 2VB, substitute back here, you get this equation. So meaning you get 0 equal to VA plus 4VB, you, you, you move VA to the left, VA equal to minus 4VB, what does it mean? You pull A, VB will move four times faster than A. Okay, you move one meter per second down, VB will move four meter per second up. Okay, so these are the logic. So you are given VB, substitute VB here, you get VA. Okay, VA, VB is minus six, now the datum works over here. Uh, upward speed, positive become negative because uh, datum is pointing down positive. So VB is going up, so it's negative. This is the area of careless mistakes. Uh, the positive negative is playing on the, after you do all the calculation, when you want to find velocity, this is the, the area where you apply the positive negative. Okay. You substitute, you get VA equal to positive 
0.24 meter per second, you get positive referring to datum A, positive go down. Mean in logic lah. If you move up, A will move down. Correct lah. Okay. Any questions so far? Yeah. This one okay? Try to look at example uh, 17. See if you're able to solve. This is a bit complex near to final exam or test one question standard. Huh? This is a uh, application of trigonometry and uh, solving simultaneous equation. Okay, hey, here you are seeing the pulley, so focus on the pulley. Uh, focus on the pulley. Then now your pulley are pulling not along the line. Your pulley are, are moving in the x direction. In the previous example, it's always following the datum, but now it, is, it, it doesn't give you where is the datum, but you need to fix one datum for yourself. So for your convenience, it will start from here, moving to the right, positive, going up, positive. Okay, so VA equal to X direction, 0 0.5. Y moving up as you move VA. Then you have the point E here, uh, point D here, right? So you have point E, 10 meter, point D, 15 meter. There's a Y there. Huh? So you have a point A, D, C, and with the S uh, things. So what you have, you have a uh, information that the the person is moving constant speed, constant speed to the right. Determine the velocity and acceleration of the safe with this object S when it reach the when it reach the elevation of ten meter. So this one from zero. This person moved to the right. I want to find what is the velocity when it reach point E. Velocity and acceleration when it reach point E. Uh, the rope is 30 meter. The rope is 30 meter. Here to here is 30 meter. Pass over a small pulley at D. Okay, so you need to think how you build an equation based on this scenario. Uh, and this one is more realistic. Lah. You'll see this kind of problem when you go to work. Uh, you need to solve. Okay, now you have the total length. Total length, 30 meter. So LT equal to what plus what? You have this distance plus this distance, right? So how do you develop equation for y and x? How you develop? Y you can you you cannot reach 10. If you write 10, you only find one point. You want to find it, this one pool, velocity constant. So you only reach 10. Uh, you need to find the velocity and acceleration. Okay, so this one might take some time. So I just go a little bit. So the rest you read. Uh, so both change. Uh, if you move to the left, this length of the rope here will change. If you move to the right, this one also will change. So your Y and X actually changing with time. So you can write LT equal to LCD 
plus LDA. And you want to write your LCD in term of Y, LDA in term of X. Because Y is changing, X is changing. Okay. So this is the first equation from this trigonometry diagram. L equal to LCD plus LDA. Using, oh, cut too fast. Using trigonometry. Using trigonometry, this is a triangular. Okay. So how to find LDA, this one. LDA, this is square, equal to square here, square here. So you rewrite the equation. Trigonometry. C, A, B. C square equal to A square plus B square. C equal to square root of A square plus B square. So you know LCD is 15, the total length of the triangular, total height is 15, but you don't know the X. You don't know the X, so you put in X there. Okay, what about LC, uh, LDA equal to this equation? LCD, LCD, LCD equal to 15 minus Y. Right, LCD equal to 15 uh, minus Y. The challenging part is you should able to see the length of the base is actually linked to the X, the height actually linked to the Y. Uh, okay. Or in incoming question, if you see some rope that can form triangular, usually you need to use triangular rules. Uh, you need to think something like this. Uh, or if you are having a non-equal triangular, you need to use cosine rules. So these two are quite popular when you have uh, not, if you don't have a right angle, you, uh, if you have a right angle, you use C square equal to A square plus C square. If you don't have right angle, you need to use cosine rules. So combine, combine back. You have LCD and LDA, put it back. You get one equation. You have one equation. You know the total length 30 equal to this equation plus this equation. So in this equation, you have X and Y. Put in term of y equal to something x, like what you normally put, y equal to mx plus c, for example. Okay, put in the term y equal to something x equal to something. All right? Once you have that, you take time derivative using chain roofs. Uh, this is uh, a bit complex. If you have u and v, you need to d, du, dv. Over time, you need to use chain rules. Huh? Okay. Why chain rules? Okay. ds, ds equal to dy dt. The change of safe velocity is dy dt. Va is the changes of x direction. VA equal to V equal to dx dt. This is what you normally seen in the previous like uh, lecture. Uh, only this one you need to combine lah. This is a, a bit additional more how you apply the V equal to dx dt. But this one is Vs in the safe in the vertical direction, so it's dy dt. Okay. So what? How to get? Chain rules, application of chain rules here. dy dt, how you link with the dx, you write dx equal to dy dt, split dy above and below, and then put something that link the y and t. In this case, it's x. Okay. Uh, 
So in this case, Vs equal to dy dt. So you break by using chain rules. dy here, dt here. Something missing over here. Something missing over here. So you can fix anything you want in the these two. It can be d something or d something that is missing. In this case, it's dx. Uh, it can be the R also if it's a circular motion. It depends on the scenario. So this is the chain rules. Huh? So the rest is mathematics. dy dx, you do this one. Differential dy dx, of course, you need to flip back uh, if you if you forget how to do differentiation here. Okay, you this on your homework. Uh, you go and do uh, this one. You arrive at this one dx dt equal to va okay you rearrange you get vx equal to x something linked to the va so you have x above x square below so this one you put your vs in the equation form so when y equal to 10, what is the distance of x? When y equal to 10, y equal to 10, what is x? Can you find? When y equal to 10, how you, how you find the x? You can find, right? Ah. So you have y. You just rearrange this equation. You got x. Remember x, when you square root something or square something, you have a positive negative root. Ah. So pick correctly. Ah. Negative means opposite the direction. Positive means along the motion, following the motion. So same. You do, you by using this equation, y equal to minus 15 plus bracket square root of 225 plus x square you rearrange it you get x equal to 20 meter okay. so when you have x equal to 20 you actually substitute that you can find your vs this one x20 substitute here va already have va is 10 so press calculator, you can find your VS. VS go up positive. Okay, your final answer just for your check is 0.4 meter per second. Hmm. This one, your homework, eh? go ahead and do. Acceleration. Uh, this one, a little bit testing on your derivation steps or mathematics. Huh? So you have your VS. How to find A? A equal to dV dt. Time differentiate this whole thing. A lengthy, a lengthy process. Huh? This one your homework. Go home and do. Right? So you have you can have two ways. One is dv dt, one is ds square dt square. So d ds square is your y direction. So you can either double differentiate this one or differentiate this one one time. Same. Because here, this one is from here. So either one, huh? either one, you arrive at the same answer. It's a lengthy, huh? lengthy process. You get this one. As equal to 225b square and 225x square, square, square root, cube, and then square root. Okay, so your homework, go and do. You say it's a uh, very hard, like I don't, ha don't have time to do. No problem. These are all the steps. Go home and read. Okay, I do for you. Uh. I do for you already. This one at least take me half an hour to process this one. Okay, you do and then go and see. Uh, you will arrive at this equation. Okay. So it's a very complex uh, chain rule. So this. Uh. Uh, I won't give you this complexity in test one, but I'll give you this one maybe in final exam. But I'll give you hints, uh, chain rule will be coming out and so on. If this kind of question come out, lah. 
Oke. Okay. Oke, okay, so we substitute x value VA inside here, you can find the answer. Positive means moving upward. Okay. Okay. So basically, what is more challenging in this question? Your mathematics skill and trigonometry. And try to ask yourself, what if we ask you another question that link your y to x? Are you able to answer? Right. The initial steps is here. Uh, most of you might start at here. You don't know how to derive these two equations. You start with here, then come here, you, you jam already. Okay. You need to write the length in terms of x and in terms of y by using trigonometry equation. Okay. The rest will be chain rules. Uh, chain rules is also quite popular for final exam. Uh, however, I won't give you this complex differentiation because it takes just half an hour just to solve this one. I won't give you this 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 so complex uh, differentiation. Okay, but the step is there. Huh? The step is there. This is just for your exposure that uh, actually this is what happening in a, in a smart car where they can estimate the incoming traffic and so on. Okay. Okay. We reached the final final part of this chapter one. Chapter one is big, uh, it's a big chapter. So now we want to estimate relative speed. Let's say you you and your friend fix a position and I'm moving. So the question might ask from your point, what is my speed? From his point, what is my speed? Okay, so from here, this diagram, you have two objects. Object B moving, uh, object B moving, object A moving. There are two objects moving, and there's a fixed observer. You are looking at two objects, and want, you want to calculate the, the relative velocity between two. Uh, okay, so this one, like the tracking, the tracking uh, formula. Um, auto tracking and so on. So this one is applied in a smart car now today, where you detect pedestrian speed and your speed. So it will stop the car at a certain time. The distance, when it reaches certain distance, it will stop. At a certain speed, it will stop. So, um, but basically, what you need to do when it comes to relative motion, you fix what is moving first. In a question, you identify what object is moving, object A and object B. Then you fix object from where? So there are three items in the question. Identify two moving object, and then the direction of the object also. The fixed observer over there. Okay. Then from the fix, you establish the x, y, z axis. Means you fix stationary. Like you doing a building measurement, you fix at that one location, right? So you start from fixed observer, you go to the question or you draft. Uh, let's say observer, you draw one observer, one point, then you draw X, Y, Z. Then you link with the A. A will have a moving, this is translating observer. So this one is moving. When this one moving, you draw another axis, X, Y, Z also, but with the prime. Prime means a moving object. Okay. After that, you put in the vector. In this kind, in this case, what is the vector? R vector. R vector, which is a position vector. What direction you are looking at to that object? For example, observer O to A is R A. You draw a observer direction, observing A, so R A. Then you are you are observer observing B, you draw an arrow, you write RB. Then from A, from A to B, from A to B, you write RB slash A. Notation, huh? 
R, B, stroke A, this is, the slash is mean to, or from, uh, sorry, to, from, okay, slash is from, okay, R, B, B direction, from where, from A, so slash A. So this form a vector triangular, you should able to draw vector triangular and write the equation. Which one is resultant? This one is resultant. These are the member of resultant. So RB, RA, RB slash A. So resultant RB equal RA plus RB slope A. Okay, you should able to understand this equation by drawing the R vector. Okay, you should able to draw huh? this one. Draw the, or observing the R, you should able to write this equation. Where is the resultant? Then the member that complete the resultant. These two is the continuous vector that tell you the resultant direction. So this will be the missing part in the question usually. Uh, so the rest you read, huh? the rest you read actually already explain all the things. So this is RB. Hey, sorry, not RA, RB. Huh? RB equal to RA plus RB stroke A. Again, the slash is from. The slash is from or my secret, uh, my secret of remembering either R or F, uh, R, P, uh, R, B, stroke C, the stroke I will become negative, R, B minus R, C. I will change this one, become negative. It's the same thing. Yeah, You pull this one to the left, you get R, B minus A. Same. This is how I remember. Lah. You may be have your own way, but a uh, 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 more proper one is that you need to draw the rectangular, a uh, triangular, then you derive this one, then you write back. Huh? Okay, same. RB stroke A, RB stroke A is position. So you can, from the position, you can find velocity. With this time differentiate this one, dr, dt, you get velocity. The R, the, the R, the T, you get V, A. The R, B stroke A, you get B, V, B stroke A. V, B stroke A means relative position vector. Uh, relative position. Acceleration also same. You D, T, D, V, B, you get acceleration. Same. Okay. So far, makes sense, huh? Or oh, it makes sense, huh? Okay. So maybe something new for today is this one, relative one. Just remember, R, B, slash something, slash change it to minus. Okay, example of application. So you have a train moving from the left to right. V, T or V train, 60 kilometer per hour from the left to right. And there's a road, highway road, that is 45 degree uh, to the rail track. 45 degree. And the vehicle, red vehicle moving is 45 uh, kilometer per hour. You are given X position, Y position, and X prime, Y prime. Y, X prime, Y prime is the moving object, uh, moving object. So train given constant speed. If the of the motive A traveling a certain speed, determine the magnitude and direction of the velocity of train relative to automotive. So relative means slash la. train slash automotive. So are you able to draw the vector diagram? There are two, uh, two analyses. 
One, you use scalar analysis, mean you split everything into X and Y, then you solve. Or another one, you use vector analysis, which is I, J, and K. I give you first solution first. Sometimes a question will force you to use vector analysis. The question will say, use vector analysis in your solution. So if you use solution two, then no marks for the solution. Okay. So the question one, VT stroke A. The question one, VT stroke A. So you write, uh, VT stroke A equal to VT minus VA. Or you can write a, a prop go to VA plus VT stroke A, same. It depends on what you can remember. Either you write this form or you can write the VT stroke A in the front on the left, then you rearrange. Okay. By using X and Y axis, all right? So VT move to the right. So 60i, right? Vt, Vt vector to move. Do you have one vector moving from the left to right along x axis? So you, because the question asks you to use vector analysis, you need to put in i direction there, right? 60 is the magnitude. Uh, vector analysis means you you see the question as vector, vector and magnitude and direction. So for Vt, you write in vector form, magnitude and direction. 60i, VA, what about VA? How you write? Huh? How you write in I and I and how you write in I and J? Ah, so you have a vector, you have 45. So split the VA into X direction and Y direction. Yeah. Okay, so VA equal. 45, what? Cos or sine? Okay, X is cos. X is cos. So 45 cos 45 i plus 45 sine 45 j is the one that split the vector of a into x and y. Then VTA you don't know. VTA you don't know. So you just write VTA. So this one is only one unknown. You move accordingly. You move this one, i from the right to left become negative. 60 i negative 45 cos 45 i. This one you move minus 45 sine 45 equal to vt stroke a. Then you put 60 minus 45 cos 45, you get this value. And 0 minus 45, you get uh, minus 45 sine 45, you get 31.8 j. Bracket, curly bracket, kilometer per hour. Yeah, so don't be scared when you see this kind of complex question. Important you remember what is relative to what. Write this form first, then recall. Chain the slash into negative. Uh, then you look at the question, either it's vector or scalar analysis. Okay. When you do vector analysis, remember to find the magnitude and direction. Don't stop at here. This is just a vector form. You need to find the magnitude and direction. So magnitude is what? Square this one plus square this one, square root. Direction, tangent, theta. Inverse your tangent. Okay. So you have 28.2i is to x direction, the red arrow. Minus 31.8 is y direction, negative. Uh, of course, in diagram, I should not put negative. Huh? In diagram, there is no positive, there is no negative sign. Huh? Remove this one. Huh? I just put this one just to tell you that it's negative direction. In your answer, don't write negative. Huh? 
in your answer, don't write negative in your diagram. In diagram, negative means something else. Negative means you need to flip this direction already. Ah, okay, ah? again, ah? in your answer, in your diagram, don't put negative. It just show you that this value I copy from here. You can write 31.8J, go down. Don't write negative. Negative means you need to flip the direction up. Okay, so from here, you manage to find the resultant will be square, square, square root. Press calculator, you get the answer. Remember the unit, don't stop at the value. Write 42.5 kilometer per hour. So from here, you need to draw this vector. Huh? You need to draw this red color vector and show me where is your theta. Don't calculate theta, but somewhere in the answer, you don't show me where is your theta. You, your theta can be here, no issue. Huh? Your theta can be here. But the calculation will be different. Huh? If you put here, then different already. Huh? Uh. Okay, at the end, you get 45.5 from the horizontal. From the horizontal. Okay. Okay, yeah. so far makes sense, huh? everyone makes sense. Huh? Okay. Now, the last example for this chapter one. We have two objects. Uh, two objects, huh? two plane, one moving in the straight line, 70 km per hour, and accelerate at 50 km per hour square, while another jet, fighter jet, moving in a circular motion. You see circular, you know, like, you need to put in normal and tangent axis already, although there is X and Y there. Yeah, when you see curve, Remember to start the process of looking, uh, drawing the N and T in the diagram. Uh, the jet moving in uh, 60 km per hour, but there is an acceleration moving at the back, I mean, it starts to slow down. The aircraft starts to slow down. Uh, velocity starts to slow down. Uh, I mean, acceleration naked, uh, go back. Uh. Okay, R is given, so you don't need to you don't need to calculate the row. R is given. Yeah. You see curve already. Recall. You know where is VT direction? No? VT is always tangent to the curve. Then you see curve already. Call A equal to A N U N plus A T U T. What is A N? V square over rho. What is V? What is A T? V dot of the VDT. Rho is given, you need to find the velocity, even velocity also given. Okay, determine velocity and acceleration of B as measured by pilot A. As measured by pilot A. So you should be able to write B slash A from A. From A. So B slash A also equal to VB minus VA. You just convert the slash become negative. Okay. Okay. So the rest you read. So VA, VB, you can put side by side. VA is go up. VB also go up in tangent direction. So basically, it's a two vector compare side by side. Uh, it's a vector diagram. You draw VB side by side like this. Then the resultant is a subtraction of these two vectors. Okay, this is a VB slash A subtraction. So, or you write lah, VB slash A equal to VB minus A, same. Huh? Huh. VB slash A, where is 100? No, this is acceleration, kilometer per hour square. It's acceleration, this no acceleration, V, this is velocity. 
Uh, acceleration is this equation a equal to a n u n plus a t u t on uh, this one. But later we reach there. You we now establish the VB stroke A equation first. Okay, so you have VA, you have VB substitute inside from the diagram. Although the diagram look very complex, but if you understood the vector diagram, you should able to solve it very quickly. This one actually trick you from here. The two vector actually go parallel. Or even you don't know how to draw this one. Huh? You just read the question, you know the VB stroke A equal to VB minus VA. So from here, you know what is VA, what is VB, VB already. Substitute inside, you get the answer. Even without draw this one. Okay. VB stroke A is negative kilometer per hour. which with agree with your vector diagram. You see vector diagram, no negative one. Huh? So your VB stroke A negative means it go against the positive direction with this, this, this direction go up. Okay, so your calculation must agree with your vector diagram. You will agree. Huh? If this one get positive, but your arrow point down, uh, then something wrong with your stage, your, your step already. Okay. So all you can, all, uh, you can put all, all v, VB go down. Okay. You need to read this one if you do not draw your free body, uh, your vector diagram. You need to write the chocolate color if you do not draw this diagram. If you already draw diagram, then no need. You don't need to write this one because your diagram already show the, the direction. Okay. Acceleration. Acceleration, same. So both uh, plan B, both tangential and normal component acceleration since it both move with us. So you know this one is normal. This one tangent. As we learn, normal acceleration equal to V square over rho. As we learn in your curve, right? Substitute, you get 900 kilometer per hour square. Okay. So <clears throat> since you are calculating V uh, acceleration of B from A, so again, a B slash A equal to A B minus A A. Uh, so what is uh, A B? You write in the scalar method. A B. A B acceleration of uh, B will be nine hundred. This way, x direction. Nine hundred x direction. Uh, by referring to the axis in the question. Although this one is normal, but normal same as x direction. So you can convert the 900 that you calculate just now, this direction, by writing 900i. And it go down. This one in the question, it point to the opposite y direction. So negative 100j. What about a? A is what? A is 50i. 50i. Go up. Ah, ah sorry. 50j, not i. 50j. Okay. Then this one you don't know. You let it as a para, uh, as a the alphabet there. Okay. You move your j to the left hand side. 50j to the left hand side. It become negative. So you have 900 minus 150j. This one is in vector term. You can find magnitude and direction. Huh? Don't stop here. When you when you when your answer is in vector form, don't stop here. Square this one plus square this one square root get magnitude. Then draw the diagram first. This diagram is go up and j go uh, j go go down. So it's actually pointing somewhere else. Huh? Okay. So I just uh give you the final answer. 
This one you use tangent to find this angle. This one is the magnitude. Okay, so again, you need to show where is the angle. Eh? You need to show where is the angle of the resultant. Okay, with this, we conclude chapter one. We have maybe five minutes break. So we go into chapter two already. We are now in week four. We are a bit behind our schedule. We continue by uh, 305, huh?